All right, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be syncing the MPC 2500 to Reason 9. And uh, one of the first things I do is I come into Reason. I set this up to sync from, it's usually set from uh, internal. I set it to mid clock. I'm going to come into Reason right over here. Oh, I'm sorry, into the MPC 2500. I go into Mode, MIDI. I want to make sure that the mode is set to MIDI clock, that MIDI machine control is set on, and that's it. Hit play, and by the time I hit play on the Akai, it automatically locks Reason. Uh, the MPC 2500 becomes master, Reason 9 becomes slave. So currently right now, the drums are coming from the Reason software. The sample is coming from um, the sample is coming from the Akai. That would be the sample. These would be. Reason drums right there. Multiple different samples inside of right here. I'm about to drop these all inside the computer, separate them, and uh, the way that I separate them is I use MIDI to make sure that they all stay on the grid. So how I do that is uh, I'm going to solo my drum tracks out first, which is going to be uh, 1 and 9 right over here. one I'm gonna drop is gonna be the audio so I'm gonna mute the drum tracks right over here and I'm gonna track in the first uh, first audio one Depending on how many times I want to loop that intro, it'll be there. Perfect. Take the drums out right there. I'm going to title it. Perfect. Go back into song. I'm going to do block number two. Be chorus. Done. Beginning. I'll call this one verse A. Verse A. Okay, so that was that one. Let me listen to verse A. Say that this is verse C. Copy. So basically, I, got, I can just color all this. All right. Now what I can do is I can command copy. Command. So I want 16 bars. So the first one is going to be A, B. 
Okay, so what it looks like I did was let's insert some lines right over here. That needs to be extended more. Take it back from the beginning. Thank you. 